Hello everyone, and welcome to Greenlight is Go, a very special edition. Uh, we are playing Towns, which may not seem too special to you, but it's special to me because Towns is a game that I heard about even before it was on Steam Greenlight. And it's a fantastic game. And yes, I know, I was going to do Cry of Fear, but, you know, things keep getting greenlit on Steam. I mean, actually released, as opposed to just being greenlit. And so, I'm doing a video of this because it's on sale for probably the first week it's out, and I want to make sure you guys know about it so you get the chance to buy it if you want to. So, uh, I might actually do a series of towns because it's not one of those games where you can sort of show everything in 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you as much as I can, but I'll probably do a brief series just to see how far I can go. And, well, we'll see when it stops, but whatever. Uh, so let's play maps, and you get an option for where you want to go, and let's just stick with the normal map. Generating seed. So this game is, uh, it's been sort of compared to Dwarf Fortress a lot, and I think in the actual description it's also compared to Diablo and stuff, but it's basically a game where you survive. You build a town, and it's got RPG, what the hell is this? Oh, cool. Wow. Okay, I haven't played this in a while. Wow, they've got lots of cool shit going on now. What is this? Hero messages, combat messages, announcements. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, I haven't played this in a while, so... Uh, this might not even be the most recent update. Because uh, I because I had this before it was on Steam, I they are sending out codes for everyone for everyone who had it before they had it on Steam. So I haven't actually got my code yet. Uh, Jesus. Okay, sweet. I can have it so it's constantly up. Let's do that. Okay, cool. So, let's start by harvesting some wheat and I guess those flowers as well and chopping down a buttload of trees. Oh, see? These guys are bad. Froggies. So, but they're not too, too hard to kill. So let's cut down a bunch of trees and we'll murder anyone who gets in our way. So obviously the objective of this game is to build a town, but there's RPG elements in that, like, you can... Instead of being the hero, you are the town that gives the hero quests. That's what... Well, that's how they describe their own game. So... Let's... I'm just gonna get right into it. So, we're cutting down a bunch of trees, and we can make stockpiles. So let's make a stockpile of raw materials. So now what they'll do is they'll take all of these pieces of wood, and they'll put them in this stockpile. And then I can use them to make a house. And obviously, well, maybe not obvious to you, but you'll come to realize the first thing you need in terms of houses is a carpenter. Carpenter? Yeah, carpenter. Carpentry. Where you can make zones. Oh, damn it. Why am I digging all that place out? I didn't really need to do that. Whatever. So, oh man, they're going to have to get rid of that stuff. You can manage stockpiles to tell them what exactly you want. And I, why aren't you putting moving the stone and mud there? Oh, can you guys not get out of there? Are you really that dumb? Really? Okay, so what we can do is we can make a scaffold, which is free to make, but people can climb. And that's what you really need. So that way these people will actually fucking leave this area. Yeah, there they go. See? They can't get over... What the hell? Why can't they get over one high thing? Whatever. So, let's make... Oh, you need a power carpenter's bench for both of those things. God damn it. Uh, okay, well, let's just build a temporary carpentry for now. Carpentry there. Oops. And you can go into utilities to make all the things you can build things in. So, let's make a carpenter. And now somebody will go and gather up some wood, hopefully make it carp that guy there he's doing it good so now we can get rid of hopefully get rid of this scaffold uh, okay and um, let's build some light wood block or yeah we, we want some good hardwood um, yeah yeah that's right so, so 
good hardwood. And somebody's gotta move that, those freak, ah, oh, screw it, I'm deleting it. Destroy, 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 destroy. Okay. What are you doing down there? Uh, fourth wind? Fourth wind. That's a good name. He's, he's gonna get stuck there. Like an idiot. Alright, come on. Let's put this there instead. There. Come on. Somebody do that. What? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, see, I missed all this now, stuff now, too. Wanna put all of that there. Are you gonna leave, Fourth Wind? Fourth Wind's gonna get built into the ground. What a fool. You don't really need a floor like this. I'm actually... It was probably dumb of me to do this. But, you know, it looks nice to have hardwood in your house. Even though you're gonna get this floor when you make a carpentry anyway. This wooden spike wall. Ooh, that sounds cool. Something just died. Anyways. So, I... I mentioned this game to Fife Life a while back. And he said he didn't like it. Or he didn't want to try it, even. Because it's an RTS. What? Roger died. Fucking froggy. Son of a son of a bitch. God damn it. We're gonna have to. Oh, Simon. Simon's getting all up in this froggy's grill. Come on. The epic struggle ensues. And ooh, it's not. There you go. And Simon comes out victorious. Where the hell are you going? What are you doing over here? You're gonna get killed! What the fuck are you doing? You're bleeding! What the fuck? Carnivorous plant? I didn't know those were in this game. Oh, god damn it. They're... Pause. Manage stockpile. Disable all. And let's... Let's allow... Mud. Stone. There. Now they won't go mm, get themselves killed by getting friggin' bones and shit. Anyways. I think they're still building this. Oh! Fourth one managed to escape somehow. Okay, let's retell these people to do that since they stopped. This is dumb. I'm not going to do this for any of my other houses. It was a horrible idea. And it's just wasting all of my materials. We're going to need to get some more trees now. Zed. There we go. Now we can see all these trees. And we're going to... Oh, shit. Look at that thing. Cut. Carnivorous plant. What happens when we do that? Does it hurt us? Oh, my God. It does. Jesus Christ. I didn't know those existed. Oh, we're gonna have to start working on food for our people, too. So let's... What? Oh, who died? Who died? Son of a bitch. Okay, let's get carpentry set up in here. Uh, no. Carpentry. What a waste. Okay. Let's delete that, and we can replace it over here. Where that badger is. Okay. So, these people are going to start dying soon if we don't feed them. So, let's set up a farm over here. There we go. And also, we're going to need lots of wood. Wood is a must in this game, so just cut down as many trees as possible all the time. Oh, here we go. I won't have to feed them for a while if we gather up all these... Don't. 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 Wait, what happens if you gather them? Somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to die. Oh, God. How do you deal with those things? You have to wait for them to close and then deal with them. Well, whatever. So, the, they're gonna have apples and pears to eat, so we don't have to worry about them too much. And this thing is stinking up the place. So, let's make a temporary... No, not temporary. Let's build the masonry right next to the carpentry, and we can share a wall with it as well. So, let me cut that down. We're gonna need this as well. Uh, a wood detailer is needed to build the, a mason's bench, and 
wood detailer does sort of like the swords and shit like that, so it's necessary. This guy's looking at him sleeping in the stockpile. Sleeping in, in the piles of mud. Oh shit, iron. Oh shit, iron! Iron's good. Iron is very good. Let's get that shit. If, because, uh, I don't know if it's still in this game, but... Yes, mine shaft. Oh, sweet. Mother of Jesus. Okay, that's... Ah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, people. Let's pause this game. So I can... Disable all. Manage. Stone. Manage. Wood. Manage. Mud. Manage. Iron. And let's also put coal on there. Because now that we have four iron here, we can actually use that as an infinite iron source. Just by using a, a mine shaft, which is fantastic. Iron is usually really hard to get in this game. What are these things telling me? Oh. Yeah, this is combat log. That's just regular log. Okay, cool. So we've lost one person so far, but it's okay. We're, we're, we're doing all right. Uh, we got our wood detailer up. We've got our mason's bench going up. Right, and we need to worry about food as well. Um, there, we can uh, gather some of this. And we can start making bread as soon as we have enough wheat. So let's get all the wheat. And then we'll be set. And we'll get some of this as well. There we go. So here's our tilled field. And let's plant. We want all of this to be wheat. Even though we won't have enough wheat, we'll just set all of it to wheat, and then we can have it auto-harvest as well. And we need some weapons, it looks like, because soon we're going get to start getting killed. So let's pull this up, and we'll make some wooden weapons. We'll make a bunch of these. So ba basically the way this works is on the, on the right side, you can set uh, an order to say, I always want five swords to be in existence. And then on this side, it will be how many are currently being made. So let's just set that to five because it's going to be slow otherwise. Because you can only make one at a time. And yeah, sweet. We need to find some coal now so we can make use of that. And look, here's all our food just sitting here on the ground. Let's uh, let's have people bring that stuff over here. So we'll make a prepared food stockpile. And now people will bring them all over here. And let's set... Here's our priorities menu. So basically we can set, we want baking and cooking to be our top priority. So if if we ever have orders, make sure that's the first thing you do. So I'll, I'll get more into that later as I need it. Okay. Um, as I was saying earlier, I was talking to Fife Life about this game and I told him he should play it because it's a fantastic game. And his basically, basically his answer to me was he doesn't want to play it because he doesn't like RTSs. And that's kind of strange because it's not strange, but I, and I tried to convince him otherwise, but this game isn't really an RTS because an RTS sort of implies that you have control over the people. Whereas in this game, it's more of like convincing the people to do things. If you don't have enough food for them, then they'll just they'll do things slowly or they'll just outright refuse to work. And it's the same with sleep, as you can see from uh, Heloise here, who's sleeping amongst the logs. She she's not going to do work until she gets her sleep. And if anybody tries to convince her otherwise, then you can go eat a dick. Let's see, Ulrich, he's got a good name. Let's auto-equip him with a sword. Boom. And Roger, you look like an awesome guy. Forthwith, you almost drowned in dirt over here and wood okay let's let's just arm up all our people simon 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 there you go auto equip there now we got a bunch of peeps with swords so now if anybody tries to wreck mess with our business we will destroy them and look they're automatically making more swords so we should make a, a weapon cabinet just in case not just in case but so that we can store all those things Badger died. Oh, good. I can just scroll over them. That, that makes it much easier. Yeah. Anyways, so this is a brief look at Towns, but I'm going to keep doing episodes of this because it's a fun game, and 
Also, I, I want to show you what else this game has to offer. So make sure you uh, subscribe so you can follow this, this series. And I will see you guys next time. So long.